Okay, so basically, old BMX, plus a strapping trolley, should hopefully equal a sick trike. So I've already begun to disassemble the bike, and now I've just been pulling this apart to get these cranks out. Okay, so I got that out. It's sitting nice and nice and lower now. No pedals in the way at least. So I'll bring the trolley in and cut that up and start mocking some shit up. Surely there's something I could do with this. <laughs> Look at it. There's something I can do with that, but we'll think about it later. For now, we throw it in the pile. So that's basically it. Now we just need rear axle, motor, frame. Very nice. Okay, so the footage you saw was actually just from yesterday. Basically, we just cut the front of the uh, cart off. I had a few mates over and we were kind of just talking through what we can do for a subframe. We've also cut, there was little like tab things here for the uh, rear bike wheel for the BMX that we've also cut off just so these are just straight pipes now. I'm gonna be sliding these pipes over the top and welding them on. That's gonna be the start of our subframe which is gonna go from there and come out to a box section thing at the back for the axle to run through and the motor to mount to. That's the plan anyway. While we we're at it, <laughs> while we cut the front off, we actually made a grill for the handlebars. Ta-da! <laughs> Amazing. Beautiful. It's so dumb. I love it. And we also have those pieces which were cut from the sides and they actually look like little wings that we can stick on the back just for some more style. Look at that. I don't know, maybe wrap them in some plastic as well. Or maybe just do it with plastic, I don't know. We'll work on design later, but for now we're just gonna get the trolley out of the way. Gonna cut those boys to size and just weld them straight onto this and get some sort of frame going. And then I'll start working on the axle and where the engine's gonna mount and stuff. I still haven't found a seat though, so I should probably figure that out as well.
All right, so that's basically it. Just extending that, that's all I've done. Nothing much to it, really. Closer look up on the welds. Look, they're a bit splotchy, but these top ones, not bad, considering I haven't welded in ages. This is what I mean by shit fitment, because, uh, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that's a big old gap. So I might, I might just quickly weld that now, see if I can weld that gap closed. This is it, so far. Um, well, partially it. This is just the bare frame. And then this trolley and seat. So, over here, the little motor we have here is a little Honda GX series motor. I think it's a, a 140, a GX 140. This is me mate's motor. I brought it here and pulled it apart and realized I couldn't fix it because I didn't have all the parts of the motor here and everything so I took it and got it fixed up by a professional so I think these things make like two and a half or three horsepower or five horsepower I'm not too sure on how much power they actually make but I know it's not anything impressive but we're just we're just whacking this thing together just anyway because why not I've never built anything like this with like little motors before or anything so we're just um, putting it together pretty slowly just figuring it out this is like a centrifugal clutch that I got off eBay. I also got this axle off eBay, just a go-kart axle. And it came with a brake setup as well, so hydraulic disc brakes. We've got a piston up there. I still have to do the foot pedal and stuff for it. Came with a big, big gear and a chain. It's kind of loose at the moment, but to do that, I just have to undo the engine mounts and push this whole engine forward and that'll tighten up the chain. But yeah, I got this centrifugal clutch and um, installed that on this crank which was like a mil too thick so I've got footage I just ran the motor mounted to my workbench and just shaved the crank down with a file and then I cut a keyway in it with with the Dremel just got the small grinding disc on there and cut the keyway in for this key there and yeah, it just all went together, so that happened a few weeks ago. Oh, just hit my head on that standing up. Um, I'll chuck this on actually and show you what it looks like all together. So it'll look something like this. I've welded this tube, square tube or rectangle tube frame together. Recycled from a rolling stand for my thicknesser, sort of like this that I have for my table saw there. I had one for my thicknesser and I just cut that up and I've just reused the steel from that. Save fine steel, which is really expensive at the moment. <laughs> you can see my welding's not the best. This is pretty thin wall compared to this. Yeah, I just wasn't concentrating enough heat into this and just melted that. I've extended my forks to get a bigger wheel. It's got quite a bit of ride height. Like, I can fully expand my hand under here. These are six inch rims. I got these off eBay as well with the tires. They're off-road tires. I was expecting go-kart tires, so that's adding quite a bit of height. I was gonna have it so it sort of like sat lower in the back and higher at the front. It sort of looked a lot cooler, but I can buy some new tires later. I know the motor's not gonna make a lot of power. One day I would actually like to get a proper motor in there. My mate wants to make a shifter cart, so I was thinking making this into like a shifter trike or like a one-two-five or whatever we can get in there. 
we'll see how this goes like I'm still keen as for this because as I mentioned before I've just never built anything like this really inspired by the grind hard plumbing co channel because they just do insane stuff but they've got like amazing tube framing and you know big little well little motors with big power doing like little four bees and little rear wheel drive drift trike things barbie cars and all that yeah seeing that sort of stuff just really makes me excited and i'm just pretty keen to build my own because i know those things you can't really buy you got to build those things yourself you know so i'm working on getting towards towards that sort of build you know but yeah right now all i'm doing is trying to get this foot pedal for the brake here or this hydraulic cylinder thing or whatever I also need to still set up a throttle. I bought this spring and I've just drilled it into the housing there and so it closes the throttle back to the turtle. Don't want it on the rabbit all the time, that, that wouldn't be good. Um, next day, I think, or maybe I was videoing the day before. Cat is death staring me. That's porridge, porridge, camera, camera, porridge. So yeah, yesterday I got this brake mounted. I was talking about doing a setup here with the pedal and then mum came in and said, well, why don't you just have like something easier to access? Yeah, so now I've just built this. And it just pushes on the piston. The dogs are out. Hey, bud. He's dead, but he's a good boy. He's pretty old as well. Anyway, yeah, so you just... pretty minimal movement so I'll just tape up this with some padding so that'll be a nice hold <laughs> I think I need to bleed it a bit because there's quite a big air bubble in there I had to rotate this this side of it and it leaked a little bit camera can't focus on it but it says dot four I didn't do any updates on this over the last few days pretty much done it's still a little bit a little bit dodgy it needs a little bit of tack welding and stuff for it to be in a, a good enough rough state but i would drive it a few times and then store it sort of thing just mounted the seat with some little metal screws and show you how i've mounted the trolley to the frame here's the front how that's mounted that's just a plate welded directly to the frame of the trolley and then the bolt i've welded nuts to the frame they've all just been tacked so i need to go back through and like tighten them all up because i think two have already broken but that's just how it's attached i've set up the throttle went and got the throttle housing and i've gone through like two sets of cable but the cable setup's not ideal for now it just has to run like this until i go buy a longer piece i guess managed to find one of these little clips which was really good to hold this housing down so that the wire can go through and then I've just done it up with like a nut and a screw as you can see I drilled a hole through the drilled a hole through the bolt and the, then run the wire through and then you just clamp them together the brake they're not sat quite straight but they do work but you can see like the rubbing so they're they're working the clutch is very noisy you'll hear it in a second um, you'll hear the motor running but then you'll hear like a screeching sort of noise and that's the clutch engaging so i don't think it's rated for this much weight or for this sort of motor i'm not too sure it is what it is at the moment <laughs> this i just put a sock over this brake handle and then taped it up so it's nice and padded and good to grip onto bolts falling out when we've been riding it <laughs> This bolt needs tightening because this keeps coming loose as well. So yeah, it's, it's a, it needs some work, but it runs. So I'll just show you from the end of the driveway. I'll just pull up into the shed. So the kill switch isn't actually wired up for it. So I've disconnected all the wires completely. This one was running into the switch and this was running into that. And that was meant that that this one goes to a coil pack, 
which is under here, which then runs from the coil to the spark plug, right? So that should have been, you know, generating power here or whatever. And then, you know, you turn, make the switch so it doesn't, you know, run power to the coil to run the spark plug, right? That's, that's how it looks like it's wired. But look at this, nothing's plugged in, fucking choke open, fuel open. Anyway, but yeah, could you hear it? You could probably hear that thing fucking squeaking. It's very warm. It gets very warm very quick. It's just a bit cooked at the moment, you know? So it's got a bit of work to do. I need to make new foot pegs for it, but I really... I've just cleaned up the shed after getting it to this stage, so everything's been cleaned up because we're about to renovate the bathroom, so I don't really want to jump back into making a mess, but if I find time, if I find time, then yeah. We'll go from there, you know? It'll be be all good ideally what i want to do maintenance wise is foot pegs tighten this up get this all buttoned up maybe even get new bars or just respray them finish welding up all the nuts on the frame bleed the brakes and then get a new throttle cable you know stitch it up a bit better than it is four stitches instead of three here's all the mounting for all of this it's just plate welded on you can see the welds just onto this thicker bar it's probably like four or five mil thick your handle is just held on with this connects to that pushes it in like the tiniest bit and that's engaged i think i need a reduction kit for the gears so run it to a smaller gear like a little gearbox i guess so i don't know how gears work i don't know how the ratios work or whatever but harry's go-kart is probably the next project power wheels wise like small vehicle wise don't know if we'll video that but anyway i'm just rambling about shit yeah because i'm hot and bothered yep yeah, that'll do me